just in a CNN. And two sources say President Trump has told advisors the current State Department lead spokeswoman, Heather Nauer, is his top pick to be the next ambassador to the United Nations. We're told by sources he could offer her the post as soon as this week. That's according to these sources who are speaking to this Caitlin Collins right here at the table. Uh, it's a big deal for the president. It's a big job to fill. Nikki Haley was a star in the administration. What does he see? in Heather Nauer that makes him think, this is my top choice. He's always liked Heather Nauer. She has a history in television. She came to the State Department. He likes watching her State Department briefings. He thinks she did a good job. And she's always had a relationship with the West Wing. When Rex Tillerson was the Secretary of State, and she was the State Department spokesman then as well, he was grew skeptical of her as his relationship with President Trump deteriorated pretty publicly because P Tillerson and his confidants inside the State Department thought she was much more loyal to the West Wing than she was to him. They often referred to her as a spy for the West Wing. But with Pompeo, she's been really close with Pompeo, and Pompeo is very close with Trump. So she's had a really good relationship with the president, and he's sorted through these people. Uh, at one point, he briefly considered Rick Grinnell, the ambassador to, to Germany, for this job. But he was insistent time and time again he wanted it to be a woman because he saw what Nikki Haley did. He liked the way that Nikki Haley had that position, how much power and influence she wielded, and he really wanted to have another woman in this position. So he's been telling people she's his favorite. He's expected to offer her the job. Um, and so she would leave the State Department, but it's going to raise questions. Not only does she have the diplomatic experience for this job, because typically people come to this position with years of diplomatic experience, and some critics have said they don't feel that she has that, but also who is going to be the next press secretary, because she was widely seen by people inside the White House as the next person to replace Sarah Sanders. So, and they don't exactly have, you know, a heavy lineup of people waiting to take that job. So it does create a few problems for people inside the West Wing if she does get this job.